Today is Tuesday, September 5th. We'll tell you about Labor Day weekend weather across the country, from extreme heat to flooding rains and where tens of thousands of people were stranded. Also, what to know about new rules for nursing homes and which drug is now available over the counter for the first time starting today. Plus, remembering a musical icon and significant changes coming to the iPhone charger and college sports. Those stories and even more news to know coming up. Welcome, welcome to The Newsworthy. All the day's news in around 10 minutes. Fast, fair, fun, and on the go. I'm Erica Mandy. Thanks so much for being here. You ready? Let's do this. The first full week of September is bringing near record heat to millions of Americans. This heat wave has spanned from Texas to Minnesota to New Jersey. Labor Day records were broken in several places, like Baltimore, where it was 99 degrees, and Philadelphia, where it hit 96. Parts of Minnesota, Wisconsin, and South Dakota even saw triple-digit temperatures over the holiday weekend. And a lot of the same areas could break even more records today, tomorrow, and Thursday, especially on the East Coast. But things are finally expected to get a little cooler by the end of this week. Meanwhile, parts of the Southwest have been getting monsoon rains and flooding over the weekend. Sadly, one person died in Las Vegas floodwaters and dozens of others had to be rescued. But now the area is drying out and the Red Cross is helping people in the recovery process. About 70,000 people spent the weekend trapped at the Burning Man Festival in the Nevada desert. Heavy rains turned the area into a massive mud pit. So the exit routes ended up getting closed for a couple of days and people were told to conserve their food and water. Then yesterday, the roads dried up enough to let people leave, but even that wasn't easy. About two hours into the mass exodus, and organizers estimated the wait time was more than five hours. But organizers were still asking people not to walk to the nearest town like several others had done, including DJ Diplo and comedian Chris Rock. Every year, Burning Man attracts artists, musicians, activists, and other free spirits for a mix of wilderness camping, art installations, performances, and partying. And the whole thing ends with the ceremonial burning of a large wooden effigy shaped like a man. Well, despite all the hardships, a lot of people said the mud did not spoil their fun. They just described it as another weird chapter in the festival's unusual history. Most nursing homes in the U.S. may soon have to make changes to fit new national standards. The Biden administration proposed the first ever national staffing rule. It would require any nursing homes that participate in Medicare and Medicaid to give each resident at least 33 minutes of care every day from a registered nurse. Plus, each resident would have to get about two and a half hours of care from a nurse aide, also every day. The Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services says about 75 percent of nursing homes will need to ramp up staffing to meet the new standards. Officials estimate the policy will cost nearly $41 billion over 10 years. And unless insurers increase their rates, The facilities will bear most of those costs, though CMS says it will also accept suggestions for other options that would allow better staffing standards. The Biden administration says it's all about giving patients high quality care. But the nursing home industry is fighting this new rule, saying the national staffing ratio would be impossible to implement. Now CMS is accepting comments on the policy for the next couple of months before it can become official. Thousands of people around the country used Labor Day to draw attention to workers' issues by protesting. One of the largest demonstrations happened in Southern California, where healthcare workers rallied against Kaiser Permanente, which is one of the nation's largest healthcare systems. Organizers there say they were protesting long patient wait times, misdiagnoses, neglect, and chronic understaffing. The rally was peaceful, but nearly two dozen people were arrested after police declared the protest unlawful assembly. Now the healthcare organization has until the end of this month to reach a new contract with unions. Otherwise, tens of thousands of Kaiser employees are threatening to strike, which would make this the largest healthcare strike in the nation's history. Though negotiations are still happening. Kaiser Permanente has told news outlets it's been working to address the staffing shortage and is committed to, quote, being a best place to work. By the way, that's not the only big strike being threatened right now. The United Auto Workers Union has been demanding better contracts from the big three American automakers, GM, Stellantis, and Ford. If a deal is not reached by next Thursday, 146,000 workers could go on strike. And in a preview of that, thousands of people marched in Detroit for Labor Day. The end of Labor Day weekend also marked the unofficial end to the summer travel season. And this year, the holiday weekend brought some pretty big traffic jams made worse by crashes. 
In just one example, there was a tanker fire in Connecticut that shut down an interstate for hours. Airports were also packed, with more than 2 million people traveling each day of the holiday weekend. This was actually the third busiest weekend for airports so far this year, behind Father's Day and President's Day. And with those out of the way, things seem to go smoother this time around. Anyone who's trying to return home from their travels today is expected to have an easier time, just so long as they avoid the typical rush hours. More news is still coming up, but first, a quick break for our sponsor, Trust and Will. I've had a lot of big life milestones lately, from having our child a couple years ago to recently buying a home. And while these things bring us so much joy, they also made me realize we need to do more to secure our future and our child's future. And Trust and Will made this process so easy. My husband and I recently sat down to put together our first will, and I was surprised by how simple yet thorough the process with Trust and Will was. We really liked the guided format. In fact, it only took us about 20 minutes from home, 20 minutes to have peace of mind for years to come. Each will or trust is crafted to be state-specific and customized to your specific needs. Everything from care wishes to nominating guardians for our child, power of attorney, and more. It also ensures that we've now prepared and organized our documents in one place. Of course, bank-level encryption is also appreciated. So gain peace of mind today with Trust and Will. Get 10% off plus free shipping of your estate plan documents by visiting trustandwill.com slash newsworthy. That's 10% off and free shipping at trustandwill.com slash newsworthy. Four astronauts have wrapped up their six months stay at the International Space Station. They safely returned to Earth yesterday in a SpaceX capsule that parachuted into the Atlantic Ocean off the Florida coast. The astronauts are from the U.S., Russia, and United Arab Emirates. And while they were on the ISS, they completed hundreds of experiments and gave the ISS some upgrades. Before they left the space station, they said they were craving hot showers, hot coffee, and the ocean air. Now they should finally get all of those things. SpaceX launched their replacements at the ISS more than a week ago. Another switch will happen later this month when two Russians and one American return home after an entire year in space. Parrot heads everywhere are saying goodbye to a legend. Jimmy Buffett died over the weekend from a rare form of skin cancer. He's been living with it for four years now, but has continued to perform as recently as this summer. Of course, Buffett is known for his beach-themed music, with hits like Margaritaville, Cheeseburger in Paradise, Fins, It's Five O'Clock Somewhere, and many more. These songs went on to inspire an easy-living lifestyle brand that included restaurants and resorts, a radio station, a Broadway show, clothing and apparel, food, drinks, and more. Ever since news broke of his death, tributes have been coming in from other legends like Elton John, Brian Wilson of the Beach Boys, and Paul McCartney. Starting today, people can buy an opioid overdose treatment without a prescription. Narcan is now available over-the-counter at places like Walgreens, Walmart, Rite Aid, and CVS. And it's available to buy online, too. Public health experts say the drug could be critical to ending the overdose crisis that's killed more than 100,000 Americans in the past year. But there's still some concern the cost of the drug could put it out of reach for some people who need it. A box of two doses costs about $45. But some insurers have said they'll cover it. And in many places, it's also available for free at certain community centers, local health departments, and needle exchange programs. Apple is set to unveil the latest iPhone next week. And with that, reports say, comes a new charging port. But don't worry, you probably already have a charger that fits it at home. The iPhone 15 ditches the lightning port that the iPhone has had since 2012, and it features a new USB-C port. Most Android phones have had USB-C ports for years. So have most iPads and Apple Macs and many portable speakers, GPS devices, and more. And all those chargers and any other accessories will be able to work with the new iPhone, too. Originally, Apple did not want to have to change its lightning cable, saying the change would hurt innovation. But a new European Union law says all phone manufacturers have to adopt a common charging connection to save customers money and cut waste. And Apple didn't want to have a European iPhone that would be different from everywhere else, So all Apple devices are going to be updated. By the way, the new iPhone, complete with the new charging port, is just one announcement expected next week. Reports say Apple will also unveil a new watch, new AirPods, a new software update, and more. There's another big shakeup coming in college sports. The Atlantic Coast Conference will now include teams on both the East and West Coast, as well as the middle of the country. 
It voted over the weekend to add Stanford, California, and SMU as new members next year. And that means college athletes and fans are going to be regularly traveling all around the country for games. It also means the ACC is becoming the fourth super conference, joining the SEC, Big Ten, and Big 12 with at least 16 football-playing schools starting next year. All of them have expanded over the past two years. And every time it happens, it means changes to the recruiting landscape and a lot of the time, changes to school rivalries too. But joining a super conference is big for athletic programs since it brings in a lot of money that can go to a wide array of sports. Plus, it means TV deals that can usually make games watchable to more people. And even more conference realignment is expected soon. So stay tuned. That's it for the main news today. So now it's time for Trivia Tuesday when we ask a different trivia question every week. But first, today's episode is brought to you by Nutrafol. Ever wish you had visibly thicker hair? Whether you are simply tired of having thin hair or have actively noticed some shedding or changes, Nutrafol is here to help. Their hair growth supplements use drug-free ingredients that target root causes of thinning hair and promote healthy hair growth. And I can tell you about these products because not only is Nutrafol the number one dermatologist-recommended hair growth supplement clinically shown to improve visible thickness and strength, But also, my own dermatologist recommended it after I had my baby and started noticing changes in my hair. And the good news is, I've noticed a difference in the thickness and health of my hair. First, I used their postpartum option, then moved on to Nutrafol Women. So no matter your life stage, take the first step to visibly thicker, healthier hair. For a limited time, Nutrafol is offering the Newsworthy listeners $10 off your first month's subscription and free shipping when you go to Nutrafol.com and enter the promo code NEWSWORTHY. Find out why over 4,000 healthcare professionals recommend Nutrafol for healthier hair. Nutrafol.com, spelled N-U-T-R-A-F-O-L, Nutrafol.com with the promo code NEWSWORTHY. Nutrafol.com, promo code NEWSWORTHY. Okay, now back to Trivia Tuesday. Today's trivia question is, where does the phrase under the weather come from? You can play along with us in our weekly roundup email that comes out each Friday. Simply sign up to get it at thenewsworthy.com slash email or find the link in today's episode notes. As for last week's trivia question, the Newsworthy published our very first episode how many years ago? The answer is six, six years ago. The very first episode came out on August 28th, 2017. And on that first day, we really only got a couple hundred downloads, probably mostly friends and family. But now the Newsworthy has been downloaded close to 35 million times and counting. So thank you. Thank you to all of you who have listened over the last six years, especially those of you who tune in every day now, who help us spread the word and grow this wonderful community of listeners, who have left positive reviews on apps, and who have rocked the Newsworthy merch. And of course, a special shout out to the Newsworthy Insiders who support us financially every month. It all truly makes a difference. Your support goes such a long way. So thank you again. And if you happen to be a new listener, welcome. We are so happy you are here as well. Cheers to six years and many more to come. All right, we'll be back with another news roundup tomorrow. Until then, thanks again for listening and have a great day. 